Hey everybody, Rocky Mountain Figures here. Today I just wanted to make a quick video on what I did to these two figures. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves, make sure you go watch the my previous YouTube video, the Marvel Legends Deadly Origins Black Widow review. Make sure you go watch that to find out why exactly I'm wearing gloves right here. But... To get into this video, in case you're wondering, why do you have Winter Soldier comic book version and a Yelena Belova MCU version together? They have, like, nothing to do with each other. But these two figures do have one thing in common, including the um, the Red Guardian figure, which I don't have anymore because I sold it. You know, as I said in my last, uh, in the Crimson Dynamo review, I was going to sell uh, uh, Red Guardian and Spy Master, you know. But anyway... What I did to these figures is I actually improved their articulation. Now, how did I improve it? Well, these two figures and Red Guardian all had dumbbell joints for the head movement. And a lot of people were mad about that. But I decided to take the liberty into my own hands and improve the articulation. How? Like this. Bang. Look at that. All the way down. Of course, there's a gap right there. But look all the way down. She can look all the way up. Same thing for the Winter Soldier figure. He can look all the way up and all the way down and how did I do that well I improved the articulation a little bit let me just focus there you go so I improved the articulation a little bit same thing for the Yelena Belova figure right there so today we, I'm gonna show you a little I'm gonna just tell you guys how I did it what you guys need from your house in order to do this mod in case you have these two figures and or Red Guardian. So let's get started. So in case you guys are wondering if I'm actually going to show you how to do this. Yes and no. I, I'm not going to really like showcase it in my kitchen how to do it. I'm just going to leave pictures on screen on what you guys need to do. And show you what materials you need. Because I've already done it with these two. And I don't have extra figures. Nor do I want to like use an extra figure because then I will have nowhere to keep it and I have to sell it but then I'll have to let everyone know hey this figure is modif modified and people are going to be like modified what are you talking about this is a bootleg figure and then they're not going to buy it so yeah just very complicated I'm not going to get another figure to do that but uh, if I do maybe if Hasbro does this again to another figure I maybe I'll make a video on that just explaining the process of actually how and showcase how to do it but for now, I'm just going to tell you the materials that you need. So, first thing you need, you need a little metal pot like this. That way, you can pour some water, which is also what you need. You need some water. You can get some water from your sink and maybe turn the temperature of the water to, like, super hot. And then uh, you need a pot to put the water in. You also, afterwards, are going to need an X-Acto knife. I'm pretty sure any really sharp knife could work, but I think X-Acto knife is the best tool to uh to work with not even focusing but you also have to be careful with the exacto knife exacto knives are dangerous they're one of the sharpest knives ever and then of course you need a little paper towel to uh uh what's it called put your figures in to dry and whatnot because they will definitely get wet during this whole process so of course as i mentioned before i'll probably leave pictures this is probably, the best place to probably do this is in your kitchen um of course, because you're gonna need a you're gonna need a sink and you're gonna need a stove. Uh, stove, I mean, sorry. Uh, so first things first, you gotta put you gotta get some hot water in your pot from the sink. Turn the temperature hot, turn the temperature cold. It doesn't really matter. I say turn it hot. That way the process can run faster. Then you wanna go to your stove, put the pot on the stove, and then uh, you know turn the temperature of the stove to hot. You know, of course, you know, turn it to like probably high. That way the process can run faster. I know they always say never turn the stove on high, but you know, as long as you're watching it, that, that's what I did. I just kept watching it. So, and of course you want to prepare your figures. So make sure when uh, you're about to do it, uh, I think make sure, I think what worked best for me was make sure the heads are off because you're not necessarily trying to fix anything on the actual head scopes themselves. You're just trying to fix the neck articulation. So make sure you pop off the heads for the figures first before actually putting the figures in the hot boiling water when you do put it in the hot boiling water when the water starts you know bubbling up that means it's boiling make sure you put the figures in the in the pot like this because you know you're not trying to do anything on this side make sure you just put them like that 
dip them in like that. And then you're just going to wait for a couple minutes until the plastic starts getting soft. It should get soft. It should get soft and, you know, no, no more than like two minutes, right? So uh, two minutes just to be safe. One minute might be good too. And then, you know, take your, take your, uh, figures off with the ball peg and then you're going to put them on your towel or your paper towel, whatever you want. Right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get the exacto knife. I'm going to use Yelena Belova here, uh, for an example, you're going to get, let me just focus right here. There you go. Sorry about that. You're going to get an exacto knife and kind of chip away at the very front and the very back. You're going to kind of make this like a uh, little crevice right here. You're going to you know, get all the plastic out from the front and the back. And then once you're done with that, and if you do need to reheat after one, after you do one side, then by all means reheat because for me, it took a couple reheating uh, the plastic to, you know, do it again or get in there and drum in there again. Uh, I think after I was done with one side, the plastic started to get hard again. So I needed to, uh, I needed to go back and, uh, uh, put the put the figure back in the boiling water and you know scoop out all the plastic again. Once you're done with that for both figures, all you're gonna do is pop the Dumbo joint back on, then pop the head back on. And I think for me the head is kind of like stick or the the the, the Dumbo joint is kind of sticking to the uh, head. So I don't know why every time I pop it off it you know it's like that. So another thing you want to do afterwards is put this in your refrigerator for just a couple of hours, maybe just maximum an hour because you're really not going to need that long just to cool the plastic down. You know, don't put it in your freezer though. I made the mistake of putting it in my freezer just because I had to hurry up with something and these f figures were like solid. Like I couldn't move them at all. I had to reheat them again and then put them back in the fr uh, fridge just so they can cool down a little bit. But afterwards, you know, don't don't be like me. Just put them in your fridge for like an hour, and then they should be fine. The head sculpts, you know, should be okay to move around. Now, of course, with the Winter Soldier, let me just pop off the head. Uh, I I wasn't the best at it. I'm pretty sure everyone else is the best. Everyone else is, can do better than me. But, yeah, uh, the, you know, at least I got it to work. Now, in case you guys are still concerned, like, oh, you know, it's going to leave a big old spot in the back of the head or in the front of the head well i mean if you're a photographer then you can obviously like depending on your pose you can obviously like cover that up so like if you have her looking up just have her like you know just use the head movement and the camera angle as your illusions to cover up those spots i'm just showing you how to improve your articulation a little bit that's pretty much it for my tutorial on how to get these guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found this informative. If you did like this, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, this is a good mod for any future Marvel Legends that, you know, Hasbro might use this uh, Dumbo joint on. I don't know. Uh, maybe Hasbro was just testing something out right here with the uh, Yellow and Beloved Red Guardian and the Winter Soldier. Again, I don't have my Red Guardian, but you could use it on your Red Guardian if you're planning on keeping it. But anyway, yeah, that's um, that's going to be I just wanted to show you guys what I did with my figures. wanted to share it with you. In case you guys want to know where I got the idea. I actually got the idea from Unparalleled Universe's video. He, now, he would he didn't mod any Marvel Legends. He actually modded a Diamond Select figure, the Diamond Select Gamerverse Spider-Man figure. Make sure you go watch that video. That video was very cool and informative. But anyway, in case you guys do want to do this, make sure you... Um, uh, you make sure you stay safe, you know, wear some protective gear, because like I said, hot water is very dangerous, same thing for the X-Acto knife, is very dangerous, because you could poke out your eye, hot water, you can like, you can jump into your face, you know, just, just, just putting out some scenarios right there of what you don't want to do, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, eBay, offer up, Instagram, all in the description below, I think that's it, so I'll see you guys next time. Five minutes later. Hey everybody, I just wanted to give a quick update. I also found out about another mod you can do for your Winter Suit Black Widow figure. So one problem that everyone's had with this figure is that the arms and the legs were too far apart from each other and they wouldn't close in all the way. Well now, uh, I just discovered a guy on YouTube who just did this mod. All he had to do was leave uh, a couple rubber bands on the arms and on the legs for just about a day or two. Then you take them off and they'll be good again. 
you just get a couple of rubber bands, you don't need any hot water or nothing. Just get a couple of rubber bands, put it on the arms and the legs for a little bit, and then leave it on for a couple hours to a couple days, and should be all good. Anyway, that's going to be it for this mod video. Sorry about that. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.